Okay, so this is first video of McGee, and McGee just arrived. Um, he was found out in the country by a barn uh, when he was about four, four or five years old, and was taken in by the older couple that lived there. And they absolutely loved him and adored him. And then about a year or two ago, they found another little kitty very near death, and they rescued that one. Hey, McGee. And McGee decided that he didn't want to share his household with another kitty. And this kitty was a victim kitty, and so he would chase and be mean to this other kitty. Um, he has had a really rough afternoon. Um, when I met him and did his evaluation, um, super sweet, up on my lap, greeting me at the door. Right now, um, <laughs> his owners um, showed up a little bit early to the meeting spot, and uh, he was left out in a car with the windows cracked in the sunshine. He was panting um, heavily. Um, he's drooling a little bit now. Um, his voice is very dry and raspy sounding, which is a typical miser trait, but it sounds extra dry, um, I think, from the panting. But I picked him up. I was able to um, get him to a cool bathroom, get him some water, and then um, and I gave him a flea pill and um, tried to get that down his throat, and that didn't work so well, so I made him really mad. He was like, you nice lady, and try and give me pills, and just wait, because there's a bathtub waiting for you. Or McGee. Um, yeah, I know, buddy. I want to show everybody how gorgeous you are. Uh, he is 14 pounds. He's a big boy. Um, right now, we're estimating his age between like seven and eight years old. Um, when he was found um, out in the country, he was neutered and also front paw declawed. So he was somebody's at some point in time. And, uh, it's just been a really rough day. He had to go to the vet and um, get blood drawn and a blood test done um, to make sure he was combo tested negative. And and now I'm going to give him a bath and give him some more medicine, clean his ears out and trim his nails and just generally be a meanie. But um, that's what we do with all of our kitties that come in. He's going to feel so much better. Um, he's got a lot of fur that's shedding and, and stuff. Um, so we'll get him all cleaned up. Um, he's going to get a dental, hopefully, here in the next week or so. And um, we'll get him all recouped from that. He's got some some teeth that are sore and ouchy, so I'm sure he's going to have some extractions. But anyway, I, somebody that wants one cat, one big, lovey lap cat, um, somebody that's like their ambassador, the door greeter, um, doesn't know any strangers, um, and uh, somebody that can handle a cat that gets a little miffed off when you give him medicine. So anyway, um, click on this guy. Um, I'll tell you more about McGee as I learn about him and give you some more of his history. So say bye, McGee.